on Us. That's the name of a nationwide effort by college men to reduce the number of sexual assaults against college women. This week, fraternities at Miami University are focusing on the message no really does mean no, and alcohol is no excuse for bad behavior or breaking the law. Local 12's Jeff Hurst looks at how men and women at Miami are reacting. Around the Miami University campus, in places where students walk every day, half a dozen fraternity houses have put up large and very visible banners, a part of the It's On Us campaign. It's on us, college men, to act like men and act responsibly. This is the first time I've ever seen fraternities do something like this. And for people here at the school to come out and be willing to speak about it, I think it is going to do a lot of good. Miami has an awareness week every fall and spring, but there are also ongoing programs. For example, training students how to respond when a friend confides she was assaulted. Our three short messages are, I believe you, it wasn't your fault, and there are resources available if you need them. Um, and in my experience, like talking, uh, having people disclose to me, um, they can tell that you care. As for the banners, the It's All Us, it also includes signing a pledge. The idea is to get conversation going about a difficult subject. Of course, putting up signs and banners and signing a pledge, those are good things. But the big question becomes, what happens after the signs come down? Putting up the signs, I think, is a great start, but it means nothing if there's no actions that follow that. Kristen Pleasant is a Miami senior and a member of a group called Hawks, student peer counselors for issues such as sexual abuse response. She sees the banners every day. So I definitely, when I see them as a student walking by, I definitely have a good reaction towards it, but actions need to follow after that. If you're just painting a sign on a sheet, I don't think it means anything unless you do back it up with your actions. Um, but I do think it's a good start. And you do have to start somewhere. For us to be able to have conversations with our fraternity brothers, um, with women, and be able to talk about how we can prevent these things from happening, um, I don't think that that conversation is ever going to be a bad thing. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. And Miami is competing with other campuses around the country to try to get the most students to sign an It's On Us pledge. Results will be known at the end of the month.